Welcome to a football week in Michigan. I'm joined here with some of my buddies, former Detroit Lions, Dominic Riola. Dami played in the uh, late 90s through the early 2000s. Lomas Brown, the man of the 80s for the Lions, and Eddie Murray, one of the all-time greats, played in the 80s as well, along with myself. So I got three greats and me. So, <laughs> but we're going to talk a little bit. We're here at the Pontiac Silverdome. You can see behind us here, and it's, it's coming down, fellas. Just when you look back playing here, one or two words, Dami, that pops into your mind. Um, um, electric on Thanksgiving. I mean, that's three words, but that's what I remember growing up. And then to actually being here, well, I was only here one year, but that, and that really stuck out. I mean, it still gives me chills thinking about it, how electric this place was on Turkey Day. Yeah. For me, the fans, because, you know, that's what made the Silver Dome. You know, you think about it, it was one of the biggest stadiums whole 80,000 and we used to have 80,000 in here consistently and when they got together and they got behind each other <laughs> man you couldn't even hear yourself talk. Uh, How about no, the third deck no. bands they were the best. Oh, yeah. they're, they're the ones yep. that got here earliest <laughs> and they drank the most That's right. yeah. and if the game got dope just look up there for a fight in the fourth quarter. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah I, I, I mean I got to add on to what Lomas was saying the fans but I mean it, if you look at it like Lomas said this was a uh, one of, I think it was the second largest stadium in the NFL back then in the 80s next to the L.A. Coliseum. Right. So w no big suites here. So no. those 80,000 fans why, that's were 80,000 yeah. really mm -hmm. frantic people. They yeah. loved the Lions. And, um, you know, we, we might not have given them the kind of team that they wanted at that time, but, boy, did they. They support us here. It was Best amazing. fans in the world. Detroit they really Lions were. Fans. They mean, really it's were. easy to be a Patriot fan. They win all the time. Be a Lions fan. It takes character. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. That's right. I, I think for That's me right. it was the noise, the, how loud it would yeah. get. I can remember being on the field trying to talk to someone right next to you, and you had to yeah. scream yeah. because it got so loud. This place would hum. I mean, after the game, you'd be walking, your ears would just be humming. And that just you know, goes back to the point you were making about the fans. Favorite memory, Ed, playing here at the Silverdome? Well, I mean, again, back in the 80s, so it wasn't like we had Thursday night football, Monday night football, Sunday night football. We had all those football games. So for us, uh, the Thanksgiving Day game, it, it was our Super Bowl. So uh, that game, leading up to that game, the excitement for the players, uh, th the tradition that it carried over from their, back in the days when they were at Briggs right. Stadium, when it was always Green Bay and uh, Detroit on Thanksgiving. So that, it felt like this, you mean, like it does well, today? Well, like it does yeah. today, yeah. It's a little brisk today, but I mean, that, that tradition that carried over and, and uh, it, it, the people of Detroit and the Lions fans had a pride for that Thanksgiving Day game, and they really rolled out um, you know, their support that game. Lom, how about you? For me, it's a little different. It's kind of bittersweet. It was uh, when Mike Utley got paralyzed here um, back in the uh, 91, back in yeah. '91. Yeah. So, and the reason why I say that, Rob, it was a sad moment. But what came out of that moment, you know, the thumbs up. We were able to go on and have the best record so far that the Lions yeah. have had. You know, one game away from the Super Bowl. Just everything that went along with that season, that's why that sticks out to me more than anything else because it was highs and lows, but it was more highs in it. And like I say, you know, the low was what happened to the mic, but the but, high was what came Lomas, out of it. But out of that, it brought a lot of awareness of, you know, spinal trauma. It did. It really did You're take right. injuries. Yeah. You're right. You're when right Mike Utley was that. able to use that as a vehicle throughout, yep. you know, his lifetime. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, Dami, how about you? Um, you know, I probably should have started this uh, – this 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 question out. I should have probably answered first because I only played a year here. But the culmination of what they said kind of you know kind of defined you know the team that I was on. And you know not a lot of you know like like Eddie said we didn't deliver for the fans. And that was probably the the you know that was probably the most let down part of of this whole thing. But you know when I got that call from Pontiac, Michigan, when I got drafted, it started up, started out my 14 year career. And, and, and it was all here. And when I drive by here, I have a story every time I drive by. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, for me, it was just the start of my career and the start of me being a Detroiter. Yeah. Yeah. This one's directed at you, Ed. Yeah. Two of the most memorable games in Detroit were against the Dallas Cowboys, correct? I mean, sure. 1980 or 81? I think it was the 81 game. Yeah, the 12 uh, men on the field. 12 men on the field. Yes. That field goal yeah. that you made the game-winning field goal. The Lions actually had 12 men on the field. And the other most memorable game in Lomas would have been the playoff one, yeah, oh, when maybe. you guys yeah. pounded the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. and I guess the irony, Ed, is show me. Oh, yeah, two oh, years so later, I mean, two years a, later. He's got a Super Bowl ring <laughs> yeah. from the Cowboys. Right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it came full circle. I, I wish yeah. it said Detroit on it. I but uh, Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, me uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have a nicer house right now. <laughs>